Hi, Western Christian families. Welcome back to our weekly uh, Bible chat time. Um, I'm afraid I had to let go of the John the Baptist look, and my wife said, Greg, you need a haircut. So she cut my hair. She did a pretty good job. I, think. Well, I asked her, I'll cut yours too. She said, no way. So anyhow, um, glad to have you here. I want to talk to you about a word today, faith, right? Some, something that we can really use right now amidst this, uh, this situation. Let me start with a story. Um, true story about two little guys that stayed here in our house. Uh, their names were Solomon and Sang. They were from Africa and the Philippines. And they were here just for a night. But I got them up into the loft to, to go to bed. And I, I, I kneeled down to pray with them. And little Solomon from Africa said, Uncle Greg, Uncle Greg, little eight-year-old guy, cute little booger. He said, Uncle Greg, does it snow here in Upland? I said, no, Solomon, I said, it snows up in the mountains, but, but not down here. Um, and he said, okay. So he began to pray. He said, dear God, please let it snow tonight. Amen. I'm like, oh, bless his little heart. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith, right? I kid you not, as God and, and my family, Grace, Noah, Kathy, are my witnesses, the next morning I woke up and it was snowing. It was snowing. Literally, not just a little bit of sprinkle here and there. It was literally covering the ground. And they were playing in it. And I was like, this doesn't happen, right? This doesn't happen. I actually, like cars were sliding around on Pudu Boulevard. This was the neat, unique thing. When I drove them up towards the Claremont campus, as we headed up Euclid, the snow turned to rain. So it actually had inverted. Usually snows as you get farther up and it gets colder. It was snowing down below and raining up above, right? Oh, to have the faith of a child, right? Um, to my amazement, these, uh, um, these kids taught me about childlike faith. So what is faith? Right? The Bible says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. See, we often try to muster up our faith, but this, this definition of faith is not about our faith. It's actually about the object of our faith. Because Jesus says, he says, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, nothing shall be impossible to you. So you know a mustard seed is about the smallest seed around? And yet when you plant it, it grows up into a bush that is bigger than a tree. This is the message Jesus is saying. He says, even if your faith at times is small, which mine is, right? If our faith is in him, nothing will be impossible, right? So let me give you a little illustration of this. Come here, Noah. Come here. This my boy, okay. Noah. This good-looking guy. Yeah. All right. Turn around. So right. I'm going to ask Noah to trust me, okay? You know, sign love you. Yeah, I would never allow anything to yeah. hurt you, okay? Yeah. But I'm going to ask him to fall back and trust me, and I'm going to catch him, right? Uh, okay. Uh, I promise I won't let you fall. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, Noah. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Fall back. I got you, buddy. Okay. Go ahead. Whoa! Yeah, that's scary. I, I guess. Okay. All right. So now I, I'll do that sometimes for students, and I say Noah had faith, right? He had faith in me, but I'm going to ask you this: Did his faith save him? And most people say, "Well, yeah," and I'll say, "No, actually, not. His faith didn't save him. What saved him it was the object of his faith. See, everybody has faith. Even an atheist has faith in something in themselves." What's the object of your faith? That's the question I want to ask you today. So at this time in history, when everything our culture puts their faith in is crumbled, it's all gone. It's crumbled, right? Faith in God alone is secure and, and, and can never be shaken. Now, your faith might get shaken at times. Think about Peter. He denied Jesus that night before Jesus went to the cross. Not once, not twice, but three separate times. But listen to the good news. Listen to the good news here in 2 Timothy 2.13. It says this, If we are faithless, He remains faithful. See, the object of our faith, Jesus, remains faithful forever. In Him alone, therefore, will I put my faith. So I encourage you, me, all of us, that we'd have a childlike faith. It says you must become like a child to enter the kingdom of God. And this is a faith that says, My faith may be small. But I have a great God who's the object of my faith. Not just now, but forever. Amen? He's our solid rock. I love you all. See you next week.